Welcome to DARE Education Awareness, where you can find the latest news on all DARE County schools, the Coastal Studies Institute, and the College of the Albemarle. We keep you informed, entertained, and up-to-date on education in DARE County. The College of the Albemarle offers online criminal justice courses. My name is Mark Evans and I'm the program coordinator for the College of Albemarle's Criminal Justice Program. The Criminal Justice Program offers basic knowledge to anyone that wants to go into field of law enforcement. It also benefits the law enforcement profession as well, so if you've got years under your belt and you've been in the profession on the street and you want to go back and get your degree, we do offer advanced credits that will allow you to go back I can evaluate where you're at, what courses you've taken, and see if we can award advanced credits to get you closer to getting your associate's degree. Being able to meet with Captain Evans, he was able to give me advanced credits for a lot of the training I've already had, so I didn't have to continue to take classes. So that sped up the process of graduating. With that, um, I'm able to get incentives at my sheriff's office because of their retention program which gives us more pay for a degree and helps us with advancement. Currently with the College of Morals program, we offer over a dozen courses that will give you the basic knowledge and understanding and the essentials that you will need to carry with you when you go into the field of criminal justice. I went to COA to try to get back into education after being out of it for many years. After talking with the counselors there, they set me up with an online course. I got a criminal justice degree in 2018. The benefit of the program was the fact that it's online. So with the job I have with the Sheriff's Office and I'm also a youth pastor, time is limited for me. So with this, I can work at my own pace, whether I take one class, two classes, or, or a full load. I mean, obviously in this job, everybody wants to go home safely. So just continuing to educate myself and learn every day keeps me on my toes. One of the great aspects of the College of Albemarle's Criminal Justice Program is the fact that all the instructors are either former or current law enforcement. But along with the assignments, the discussion boards, the written assignments, the papers that you have to complete for the program, you're getting the real world experience from current and relevant law enforcement officers into the program. The State Highway Patrol values education and they incorporate that in their promotion. Without this degree, I probably would not have gotten promoted from sergeant to first sergeant. By getting this degree, not only will it give me a raise, it'll give me additional points on, uh, for testing purposes. And also it gives me the opportunity to then move forward to try to get a bachelor's. So for current law enforcement officers in our region, the Criminal Justice Online Program is an excellent source to get your degree because we offer it fully online. I will look at your portfolio and evaluate where you're at and I will try to give you as maximum credit in advance for your classes and prior training that you have. So if you're looking to finish something that you started months or years ago, contact me, contact the college and let's see what we can do for you. First Flight Middle School offers shadowing and an at-your-service program. This year we have started a program called Shadowing. Students completed applications at the beginning of the year where they showed an interest in shadowing different departments and people in those departments such as a custodial crew or our receptionist. The students take their time during Take Flight time to complete different jobs and teachers are reporting that the students are more confident and successful in class, putting forth a little more effort because they're super excited about being a leader in our school. And we have found that giving students opportunities to be a leader in different aspects of school, not always just academics, has really paid off in the classroom as well. I work in the cafeteria with the shadowing program. It is important because not only do we get to help out, but also we get to see what's happening in our school. And maybe if you like want to be a chef, this will help you. 
Jacob, he comes every day and he helps us uh, pan our fruits and stuff for us because later on in life he's thinking about being a chef. So we started letting him come in here and just start learning a little bit. He actually reads a menu, he knows where to get stuff, he knows how much to pan now. He's been doing it pretty much since school started and it seems like a good program for the children. They're starting to see really what it is to be an adult. I shadow almost every single day in the front office. I like to shadow because it's fun and it keeps me occupied. I'm learning responsibility, I'm learning how to stay organized, and it just helps me a lot, especially at home. Along with shadowing, we also have a program called At Your Service, and this was created by Ms. Ashley Bassnight, who is our Career Development Coordinator. We have started a program called At Your Service, and At Your Service is just this wonderful program that our kids are involved in during their take flight time. And what they do is they provide a service to the teachers and staff here at First Flight Middle School. And so this is a wonderful starting point for our students to begin an internship. They first come in, sign in, and then they look at our to-do board. And a lot of the things they do are copies. We do some laminating and cutting. And then they do a lot of deliveries. They do water delivery to our teachers and staff. And they also check on substitute teachers in our building, just as a little goodwill measure um, to make sure that things are going well and if, if there's anything that they can do for them while they're here at our school. I am one of the people who started the At Your Service business with this last night. I'm learning to take responsibility if I mess up and also how to be a team worker. I enjoy the most about helping the teachers and also getting to work with Miss Best Night. So we initiated these programs uh, because we were hopeful that we would create more empathy and compassion throughout the building, creating just a real positive culture here at First Light Middle. What we realized is that both of these programs have allowed our students to be their best, both in and out of the classroom. The Coastal Studies Institute is opening its doors to the public. Welcome to the Coastal Studies Institute on the ECU Outer Banks campus. We'd like to invite you to our 2020 open house on Saturday, February 29th from 1 to 4 p.m. Join us for a fun afternoon while you tour the facility, learn about research and educational programs from faculty and staff, and take part in family-friendly activities. Let's head inside and check it out. At CSI, the coast is what brings researchers together from all disciplines ecologists, social scientists, geologists, archaeologists, engineers, and oceanographers. Take a closer look at underwater shipwrecks and explore the rich maritime history of the Outer Banks. Find out the latest in renewable energy research as coastal engineers explain how they're working to harness the power of the Gulf Stream. See how the ever-changing coast is affecting life in our communities and ways we can become more resilient and learn about the wide range of education and outreach programs available for students and the general public. No matter what your interest, you'll find something fascinating going on at CSI. ECU's Outer Banks campus is home to the Coastal Studies Institute, an interinstitutional research and education partnership, and also to the Department of Coastal Studies, an interdisciplinary department made of faculty whose expertise include natural and social sciences, engineering, and health. Come join us for the day and learn about our current research happening in coastal North Carolina and around the world. Learn about how you can become involved in many of our educational outreach programs offered for graduate students, undergraduates, K-12 students, and teachers, as well as the general public. We look forward to seeing you on February 29th. The ECU Outer Banks campus is not only home to the Coastal Studies Institute, it is also home to multiple coastal ecosystems, including marshes, scrub wetlands, maritime forests, and the adjacent coastal estuaries, all that serve as living laboratories for scientists, students, and the public to study and experience. Join us February 29th from 1 to 4 p.m. for the 2020 Coastal Studies Institute Open House. <laughs>